Welcome to Solo Travel Blog. If you're interested in Japanese booze, then you've come to the right place. What's up, everybody? We're about to do a black beer taste test in Japan. Personally, I like black. I like Japan. I like Japanese beer. I like black beer. My favorite color is black. I'm fucking wearing black right now. Let's do this damn thing. Now, first off, we've got Asahi Dry Black. Asahi is one of the bigger beer companies in Japan, so yeah, that's one of the more popular beers, I think. So here's a closer look at the label. It says Super Dry Asahi Dry Black. Well, it says dry twice, so I guess it's safe to say this is one dry drink right here. Next, we've got Kieran Stout. Kieran's another large Japanese beer company, so I think this is also a pretty popular beer. So this is Kieran's beer. It's labeled as a stout. It says Kieran's Prime Brew at the top of the can. There's a sweet-ass dragon in the center, and at the bottom it says brewed for good times. And next we've got Tokyo Black. Tokyo Black is a micro-brewed beer. So I don't think it's as popular as the other beers, but I think it's maybe up and coming. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to do a blind taste test in this bitch. Okay, so before I go over the details of the taste test, let's check out the label here. Looks like we've got a sumo wrestler wearing a loincloth and he's just staring up into the sky. So Tokyo Black, it's labeled as a porter. So the way I'm going to do this blind taste test is I made these black covers for the beers. I'm going to put those bitches on. Next, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Alright, so the beers have been sufficiently mixed up. I don't know which one's which, but I'll give you the information so you know which one is which right now. Let's do this thing. First, we'll have the pouring. Alright, let's pour this bitch. Looking good, baby. Yeah, it's got a pretty dark color. The head's kind of brown. Smells good. Let's do the next one. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That was a fucked up pour, man. Well, that was better than the last pour. Somewhat better. Maybe not. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I guess it's kind of weak as black beers go. Let's try the next one. It's got like a weird aftertaste or something. I don't know what's going on with this one. Pretty good. Strong but good, you know? I would say strong but good. I think you need to have some snack with this though, like something to uh, counteract the strength of it. I don't know exactly. Well, we're in Japan, so maybe you could eat some dried squid with this bitch. Alright, let's try this one again. Yeah, it's still weaker, you know? Nothing special, I would say. This one, nothing special. So, so, nothing special. Nothing special, baby. Alright, let's try it again. Make sure. Gotta be 100%. See, that time, that one tasted good. I don't know what's going on around here. 
here. I need a fucking palate cleanser or something. Alright. What the fuck? It's still good. Alright, let's go, baby. Damn it. Yeah, it's really difficult because when you have a weak one, then you have a strong one, then maybe the strong one tastes good, and then you have the weak one after it's like keeps changing each time which one tastes good. But definitely this is the weaker one. The fuck? Okay, that was good. One more time. I'm going to try it one more time. Make sure it's okay. Strong but good. Strong but good. Medium strength. A little bit sweet. Weaker strength, not sweet. So a little bit hoppy, medium hoppy, more hoppy, very hoppy. Very hoppy, not sweet, medium hoppy, sweet, a little sweet, weak, Weak hoppy, not fucking sweet, all right? Okay, so I decided this one's number one. It's kind of medium hoppy, pretty sweet, the best of both worlds. Yeah, for me, this is number one, baby. This one's number two. It's really strong, so you know, you're drinking a fucking black beer. It might as well taste a little strong, right? This one's very strong, but it's not got any sweetness to it. So, you know, I think for me it's like a number two. And this one, not special. I mean, it's good, but uh, it's nothing to write home about. It's just a little bit hoppy, not too strong, not sweet. Just It's just there, you know. It's a little bit watery, actually. So let's, uh, let's check this shit out. Unveil these motherfuckers. So number one. Okay, number one's Tokyo Black. Micro brewed, baby. Got a little uh, <clears throat> shit here. Okay. Micro brewed. The little guy wins. Who's next? Number two is Kieran's Stout. Prime beer, Kieran Stout. Number two. All right. That means the loser is Asahi. Well, ain't that a bitch? So basically, I'm gonna have to start drinking some more microbrewed beers. This was really good. So uh, yeah, let's check out more microbrews. I'll have a video about that in the future. Thanks a lot. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks. Here we've got a dude cutting up some tuna with samurai-like precision. Now we've got something we can work with. This guy's roasting some scallops on the grill. These things are looking mighty fine right about now. I can see I like this guy's style. He's got two blowtorches and he's roasting the half-shell to kingdom come. 